I often get questioned about upgrades to my system and ensuring balance of the system for HA and for my RAID that I'm running. And then of course always, you know, I've done an upgrade. I know I've got capacity, but my CPG is full. Why does that happen? So in this tutorial, I'm just going to briefly discuss what happens in those particular cases or what could potentially happen, things to look out for, and hopefully give you some ideas of what to factor in when you start planning your upgrade. So in this illustration, I've got a two node three par, and this two node three par has three expansion shelves. So we're gonna just look at it from a simplistic standpoint. I've got four 200 gig drives, one drive per shelf. It's gonna be running HA enclosure or HA cage. And I'm gonna, you know, normal operation, I'm gonna fill these drives up, let's say to about 50% full. Now I'm running RAID 5, three plus one. And essentially that means that in a HA cage perspective, that I've got data, 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 parity, right? Just again, simplistic uh, view of it. All right, so now my drives are 50% full and I've got some money in the budget. I wanna upgrade my, my drives, so I'm gonna add a couple of drives, two 600s. That's great. So now I'm gonna rebalance that capacity. So I've used up a good portion of my 200s and a little bit of the 600s. I can still write RAID 5, three plus one, and there's no problem there because I can do data, data, data parity across any of those six drives that are illustrated. The problem comes into play when I fill up the 200s. So now the 200s are full and the 600s are not. Now I'm gonna get an alert. My CPG is full and I'm out of space. How does that happen or why does that happen? Well, it's because I can no longer write RAID 5, 3 plus 1 across two drives and maintain the HA cage level that is specified in my CPG. So let's start over. I've got the same setup. I've got four drives. They're 50% full. I'm planning my upgrade, but then my partner says, you know, hey, look, Let's make sure that we've got full balance across all of my shelves and we can maintain that. So I'm gonna add that third and fourth drive to the system. That's important because when I fill up those first four drives, I've got four drives left over that are only partially full. This would allow me to continue to write RAID 5 3 plus 1 because there's still space. I would not be writing my wide stripe into the 200s, just the 600s, but I'm still able to write the data. Let's kick this up a little bit. So now I've got a larger system. It's a single node pair with seven cages. I've still got 200 gig drives. And if I want to look at it again simplistically, I could say I've got a RAID 5, 3 plus 1 that I can write anywhere. I can also write a RAID 5, 7 plus 1 and maintain HA cage. Okay, so let's start with this 200 gig drives again. And now I'm gonna do my four drive upgrade. So now I've got 600s. This will fully support RAID 5, three plus one, because I can stripe there, there, and there. Obviously, again, we're just looking at it from, from a simplistic standpoint. They're all gonna be mixed up, but I have enough drives and enough cages that eventually I will always be able to write across four drives. But if I wrote a RAID 5, seven plus one, once those 200s are full, I would have to create a filtered CPG to grab a hold of the excess space of the 600s and create that as a RAID 5, 3 plus 1 CPG. That will eventually be the only way I can capitalize that additional space. So hopefully this provided you some, uh, some things to go on and help planning, contact your partner, or whomever you know at uh, HP for further explanations on how to properly plan your upgrades based on your specific configuration. Thanks a lot.